Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Converting My Van. Okay, so, I have here some foil insulation which I'll be using to go over this wheel arch and the wheel arch below us. Hopefully, hopefully you can see okay. So, this insulation I managed to pick up five of these rolls which is a lot they're seven and a half meters long by i believe 60. <clears throat> five of these for a tenner at a car boot sale so i haven't got a link for you they are the b and q foil so i try and find a b and q link but i picked up this for an absolute bargain so this roll here cost me two pound essentially which is very 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 good value for money and the plan of action is to use so multi-purpose impact instant contact adhesive okay well i'm very happy but now very upset because uh, i've done the job which i think has turned out quite good however once again the footage corrupted so it just froze and record audio so unfortunately you can't actually watch me do it now or you can't have seen me do it i've still got this one i can do so what happened was i've got the new gopro hero 12 which is great and all but i've only got one battery for it and i was just burning the battery burning through the battery um so i had to stop what i was doing to then charge it up because i want to i want to record everything because it'd be fun so i i then remembered i've got my old gopro with multiple batteries so i was like awesome i'll do that hence what you're being recorded on but the problem with this is it keeps corrupting the files so then it's not actually being beneficial at all so um i'm just gonna have to buy some gopro hero 12 extra batteries so basically i apologize that um the footage in these videos keeps corrupting uh and you're not fully seeing what i'm doing i will fix it though i promise okay everybody so I've got the big camera out whilst the GoPro is charging. If this records well, I might just stick with this. I've stuck a wide angle lens on it. So we will uh, we will see. Anyway, so I've disconnected the battery. And I've just realized I did have a little sweep, but I could probably just do a bit of a better job. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we missed out on last time on the other one. So I got my foil and I'm just gonna get a nice big bit where I've got a bit of excess, essentially. Yep, and I just go a little bit more to like there. I purposely want a little bit more, because basically I've got plenty of this foil insulation, so I don't mind having a little bit of like wastage. All I'm gonna do here is simply just cut down like this. That'll do. Lovely. So this is the foil, which is plenty, absolutely plenty to go on here. So what I'm gonna want to do is make sure I've got one. Yeah. Yeah, plenty. Lovely. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab my adhesive spray and we're just gonna go ahead. That there is the completed project. Let me see what it looks like on the camera. I mean, yeah, I think it looks alright. I think you can see that it looks alright. 
Um, it takes about five minutes. Um, now, obviously, obviously, I could have done a better job if I kind of know a bit more of what I'm doing. Um, however, the plan of action is I'm going to put the wheel arch, the wheel arch boxes back over them and I want to stuff the wheel arch boxes with loft insulation. So how this looks isn't actually very crucial. So in that sense we're doing okay. So um so yeah beautiful. Now all you can look at is my legs. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna turn you around. <coughs> so what I want to do here don't worry, this ain't cobwebs, this is the adhesive spray. So, what I want to do over here is I want to just put on some more of this. board cut up and I have got wooden planks cut up so what I need to do first is I need to get the first piece of insulation down under here which hopefully will go okay and I should be this little thin, this thin piece here so Okay, so with that being done, I have got um, this open gap here, which I can get some more, um, some more board down on, and I've got a little thin gap over there as well. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go ahead and cut another bit to go there and another bit to go there. Then what we're going to do is get the aluminium, aluminium tape again and tape it all down, make it look all pretty. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the big bit of ply flooring down again.
Okay. That's stuck down. Now, obviously, as we can see, it is a little bit messy. But in the future, there will be a touch-ups episode. And I'll just chuck it in that episode where I just uh, make things look a little bit prettier. So, yeah. Awesome. Oh, no. We're going to have problems. My electrics are in the way. There we go. See, there's a wheel. There's always a way. I've got to grab a bit to go in there, which I've got inside. being weighed down what's that's happening what's that's weighing down i need to go to bridgewater to pick up some stuff from facebook but i'm gonna go ahead and drill in some screws to make this thing a little bit secure it's because this used to be on the other side i've got all the grooves of the metal underneath. So I can actually go ahead and do a pretty neat job here. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out and gonna get some more insulation that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. Then the next job to do is to put insulation behind that, behind the equivalent of this on the other side, to cut the wall ply down to about this side here and attach that onto the wall. And as far as I'm aware, and some roof insulation in the little crevices that are back there as well on that side. So over here, in here, but on that side. So that is the plan of action, and then that is another successful day done and dusted on converting the van and then next time now that we've got this down I'm gonna look to get the flooring done so then I can go ahead and connect the battery up because the problem is I can go ahead and connect the battery now but I've got to disconnect it again blah 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 because I'll put the flooring down so I may as well do the flooring next which will make the most sense okay so for this next piece I've got Lydia's help because I'm gonna need a few extra pairs of hands so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some of this insulation board that I've got left, little off cuts, and I'm just going to kind of place them behind here and get all that on the wall. And then we're going to put some, I've got some roof insulation behind me. I'm going to kind of stuff all that in these little crevices and in these little holes and everything. Put all that behind and then I've got the freshly cut ply board, which will go like that essentially, thereabouts, and I'll connect that onto the wall, going down like that basically, and across here, like so, and then that is that wall insulated. So that's what we're going to begin with, so we're going to go ahead and start with the boards. Okay. 
jobbly. Lovely jobbly. Okay, so the I put the box back on. Now, slight problem is I'm using my my mirrorless DSLR camera to uh, record this now because the GoPro has been letting me down lately. And I forgot you can only record about 20 or 25 minutes before it auto cuts out. So, me uh, doing this part, me and Lydia doing this part of the job got cut out. So, very sorry. Basically, we put the board back on, and now the wheel arch box is stuffed with loft insulation, which I have here. And uh, we've, I've used just two little corner hooks to get it back up against the ply board so that is that now there we are that, that's all right isn't it that should be fine so i have got a few other little bits and bobs i need to do <laughs> how's that looking then does that look all right yeah a little off Okay, so I've got a few. I've got a few more bits and bobs I need to do here. Like it's a little bit um, at the bottom. It's not. It's a bit loose. So it just needs a few more screws and corner brackets. But that can be done at a bit of a later date. And I can just do that off camera. To be honest, it's not too important to be shown. Essentially, I thought that was a steam train. Then it's just the, um, the builders working. So for anyway, anyways, this episode is going to be done now. Thank you everyone for watching yet another scintillating episode of Converting My Van. Next time, we're going to be looking at putting flooring down in the van so I can get the battery connected again and then we can start up some more electrics. As my good friend Chris has informed me, I've done more electrics wrong. So that's another future episode. Fixing my electrics part whatever we're on now essentially but thank you everyone for watching i do appreciate all the comments people leave giving me advice and helping me out on this journey as i genuinely don't have a clue what i'm doing we're completely winging it but so far it's going okay so fingers crossed we maintain that thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you next time for another episode bye That'll do.